Hi everyone. Welcome to Coco Senor. Today I will show you guys a complete tutorial to migrate Windows 11 or Windows 10 operating system to an SSD without reinstalling. In this video, Windows 11 is set as an example. All operations are the same in Windows 10. First of all, connect the new SSD to the PC with the USB to SATA adapter. It is better to plug the cable into the USB 3.0 port to speed up the transfer speed. Then right-click this PC on your Windows 11 computer desktop and hit on Show More Options. Now choose Manage from the context menu. You can see the computer management now. Go to Find and click Disk Management on the left menu. Alright, the initialized disk window comes. Check the GPT option and click the OK button. Then you can right-click on the unallocated space of the disk and choose New Simple Volume. You can follow the New Simple Volume wizard to create a simple volume on the disk in seconds. Now the new simple volume is created. The SSD is ready for use. Next, you need to download and install professional Windows cloning software to clone Windows 11 to the new SSD. CocoSenior Backup Tuner is a reliable and professional system migration tool to migrate Windows data to SSD quickly and safely. You can click the link in the description to get it. Then install it on your Windows computer. You can launch CocoSend your backup tuner directly after installation. The software is set in the copy interface by default. You can select the system partition as the source partition and the newly created SSD partition as the transfer destination. Yes, you should make sure set the target partition as the boot disk is checked. After that, click start and yes. Wait for the system transfer to complete. This process will last about 20 minutes, please wait. OK, the system transfer is complete. The system data in the old hard drive is now cloned in the SSD. The next step is to reboot the computer from the SSD to check whether the cloning system can work normally. You can restart the computer and press Dell key or other boot keys to enter the boot menu. Then choose the SSD as the first boot option and press enter. Finally, your computer is booted into Windows 11 from the SSD. Alright, you see, the system is the same as your original one. And now the system disk is the SSD. That's all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.